car was a classic Volkswagen Beetle, I forget what year it was, maybe 72, dark green. And I loved that car, but it had a bad attitude. It was the kind of thing where I'd drive it and then it would stop for no reason, and I'd take it to the shop and then it would work like a charm. And it happened all the time. Um, I've had a bunch of cars since then, but that one definitely has a special place for me. car when I was 16 years old was a Subaru station wagon, early 80s model, and uh, much like this one here. And the first time I drove it, actually the first time I ever drove by myself in a car, was from Chicago to Dallas, Texas. Um, I think it, it, it took about 12 hours, if I can remember correctly, and I was following my dad in his car. And uh, he thought it was really funny to uh, go 100 miles per hour on some of these straightaways. And uh, I was freaking out, and I can remember the car was in really poor shape and shaking the whole time. And I just uh, never forget that moment, and uh, never let go of the Super Station Wagon memories. When I first moved from New York City to San Francisco, and I realized they didn't have a subway, I knew I needed to find a new way to get around town. So I opted for the two wheel variety of the vehicle, and I grabbed Vicky the Vespa. She is a purple pavement eater. So watch out on the roads, I'm coming through. This is my favorite photo of my grandfather and I. I'm sitting on his shoulders and that's him. His name was Vernon Eugene Neely and lived in Fowler, California. Behind him is actually my dad's beloved truck, but that's not the car that started the story. This is the car that did. Now I can't say this is my grandfather's first car, but it was certainly among his favorites. A 1964 Chevy El Camino. As you can see, it's still got its mint exterior, mint colored dashboard. There's actually a special Chevy name for it, but I can't remember what it is. But it's a fun car to drive. We drive it around occasionally. I'm not gonna start it up for you now. That might take a bit, but it's really fabulous to have his legacy and someday this car will be restored to its former glory. So many people have offered lots of money to buy it and like any good memory, you would never sell it for any amount. <laughs>